And taking a look over at our new First Alert Weather Center, it looks like we get all the computers up and running telling us spring is here to stay. Is that correct? Fingers crossed, although <laughs> folks in western Maryland are now getting some heavy snow, believe it or not, with this cold front that is making its way through the region. So looks like we've got uh, temperatures fluctuating here, going down tonight, going right back up here by Friday into part of the weekend, and then going down again on Sunday before we see a big warm up next week. Let's talk about your forecast. And this front that is moving through the region right now that hasn't gotten to Baltimore yet, but it's going to be approaching within the next couple of hours. And when it comes through, you'll notice it because those winds are going to pick up out of the north and west. Now, we've been tracking a few showers and a few snow showers out towards our west. And I think most of the rain that happens to try to get into our area, the air is still very dry here. Most of it is dissipating before it even gets here. So, uh, only other than perhaps up near the Pennsylvania border, really no chance of seeing any type of precipitation here. But I do want to point out this freeze warning that's in effect for western Howard County. Tonight, temperatures expected to perhaps drop near or just above freezing for portions of the area. So that could cause some issues for some of those areas where the growing season has begun. But you can see those temperatures right now out at the airport at 51 degrees. Wind still subtly at 5 to 10. Notice how much colder it's getting out towards the west, though. Cumberland at 38, down around 30 for McHenry. But notice the winds now shifting out of the northwest, 10 to 15, getting gusts over 30. And you can kind of see where the front is right now. Look at the wind gusts in Frederick, 31, 23 for Westminster. That is headed our way. So those winds will be picking up out of the west northwest. When that front moves through here over the next couple of hours, temperatures tomorrow morning dropping into the 30s and then rising to around 50 here for tomorrow afternoon. So it will be noticeably cooler tomorrow, even though we're going to have plenty of sun. It will be noticeably cooler tomorrow than what we had this afternoon. So again, the front moving through the area, and as I mentioned, Garrett County getting some heavy snow right now, possibility of maybe an inch or two of accumulation for it's all said and done. Futurecast shows that winding down by tomorrow morning. Mixture of cloud and sunshine expected here to start the day. Mostly sunny tomorrow afternoon. Should be a decent day with highs in the low 50s. Clouds will rapidly increase on Friday, and we're expecting rain to move in by later Friday. If you have Friday night plans and if you have Saturday morning plans, wet weather will be in the forecast. But it looks like the rain should move out by afternoon Saturday. And then by the time we head towards uh, Sunday, we're looking at sunshine returning to the area. Speaking of that, let's take a look at your seven day forecast. Tomorrow, brief cool down 54, 30s for the next uh, night or so. And then by, by Friday afternoon, we're going to be up to 70, 75 for Saturday, rain in the morning, cooler for Sunday with sunshine. And then all next week, right now, looks like we'll see highs at least 70 degrees. Okay, that's good. Thank you very much, Derek. Mm -hmm.